And uh, here we have a question from PMR Ravi. How to get started with the STM32 Nucleo? Okay, very simple. So first, this is our the Nucleo. So you have take one of the you know Nucleo we have here. How many Nucleo you have? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. You have to count a, a lot, really a lot. So all this, are, every all single one this, is different. Yes, exactly. Different, different flavors, different uh, processors, different. Uh, Capability. Yeah. One of these yeah. is a G0, which is our last uh, M0 Plus platform we have. So it's a Cortex M0 Plus board. So how do people get started with this? Uh, I will show you. Just come here. So yeah. we have a PC. First things you have to do is to install the STM32 CubeMX we have here. And then you have to select your board. Here on the board so selection. This is CubeMX This is a Cube on MX Windows? Enterprise. Exactly. And open a new project. Does it run on uh, Mac and Linux? Or? It's uh, running Mac, Linux, and uh, Windows okay. on uh, three platforms, so it's compatible. Then you have to select, you know, the Nucleo board. So we have three different Nucleo. This is the amount of pin you have. So 64, 32, and 144 pin. Let's take the... Can you come over the Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's... Okay. These are the different flavors Nucleo we have. So uh, 32 pin up to 142 pin. So you can select the Nucleo, the standard one, which is a 64 one. And then on the left, you will see all, you know, the different Nucleo we have. So let's take the F411, for instance. If I click on it, so I get all the stuff. And double click on it, I will start with a new project, asking if I want to initialize all the peripheral with the default mode. Say yes, of course. There are not so much peripheral on the Nucleo. And here you are, you can start to design. What is this? So these are the pin representation of your chip. So it's showing you uh, the, 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 the pin out. Oh, sorry, the pin out. And uh, here by clicking on the pin, you can select and uh, which kind of you know peripheral you want to select. So if you want to have this pin, this GPIO as a UART, SPI, and, and so on. This is uh, one of the things. And on the left-hand side, you have all the peripheral which are available for this chip. Just have to click on it like that, and then select the default mode. On the right-hand side, you see exactly where it's coming from. So these are the square C, for instance. Good. So uh, people click, and what happens? What happens is you are configuring step by step your uh, controllers, and of course, the last step is to generate a code. So by clicking on this button, I will generate a C code. Oh, I have to put some of the staff yeah. in here. Sorry. To generate a code. Okay. Ah, okay, sorry. Let's put example and then generate the code. So now I'm generating the source code, so C code, and then you can start with it. You will get the main main loop. You will get everything and you can start from, from scratch. From test code. Test code, really. There's a lot of different test code? Uh, no, uh, in this case you will get a while loop. While. One. Forever. While. Sorry, a uh, while uh, loop. Okay. And uh, you will have to write your code, start to write your code. What does it do, this loop? Uh, nothing, it's a forever. It's a loop forever. Okay. And so then from there you start copying and pasting things exactly. in? Exactly. Pa pasting, putting your C trying. code and starting to switch on, switch off the LED and all the stuff, yes. And then trying this, trying that, and see if right. it works? Trying it on the Nucleo, because at the end you want to put it on the Nucleo, and then testing it. Okay, you have a small... So you can test it before you put it on? Right. You Correct. test it inside the software? You test it inside the software, then you program inside the Nucleo, and then you test it on the hardware. So the software is emulating a Nucleo? Uh, no, it's, the, it's, the sorry, it's generating the code for the Nucleo to, to be programmed in the Nucleo. All right.